SincereSolutions.com and I'm here in Barstow, California at Arrowhead Rock Drill. And I'm here to show you the R45S, which is a mini skid steer mounted breaker that can also be reconfigured by simply move, removing the mounting plate and putting it on an excavator up to a class 25. Starting from the top, you're gonna to see this mounting plate here. It's got a five bolt pattern on here. This is configured currently for a mini skid steer like a Toro, Dingo, or a Boxer. But by removing these five bolts, we can simply change this out and we can put on any style of mount that we please for the type of application we're using in it. So that could be an ASB RC30, it can be a Bobcat MT. This style and size of breaker is specifically designed for those models, as well as we can put on our mini excavator mounts too. So a lot of customers will actually buy this and they'll buy it with a mini skid steer plate, but then they'll actually also have us make up the different couplers so they can put them on their excavators as well. Next thing I want to show you is the charge valve. This is completely independent from the actual drive valve down here. So what this is, is this is where you put your gas into the chamber, and this gas, once it's in the chamber, is completely isolated from the oil side. So on a yearly basis, maybe even two years, depending on how much you use this, you'll check the pressure in here, and you'll recharge as necessary. We move down next to the control valve. This is the hydraulic oil in and out valve. So what happens is the oil comes in from your machine, goes in through here, forces the uh, piston up inside this unit and when it gets to a certain point this triggers inside here and allows the piston to drive back down and hit the tool. This is again very simple. This can actually be removed from here if you ever had to change an o-ring or anything like that and you will not lose the gas charge inside the valve body. That's really important. You don't see that on other breakers in, the, in this class or this field. What ends up happening is every time you try to maintain something or if a bolt comes loose you lose all your gas and you got to start all over. That's not the case for Arrowhead, and that's another reason you want to buy this style of breaker from Arrowhead Rock Drill. We've talked about all the different mounts available and how easy it is to change them out. We talked about the isolator dampening system, which is unique, again, to Arrowhead. The gas chamber system, which again is unique because it keeps the gas up inside the chamber without going back into the valve. And then just how simple this valve is. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about is just how simple it is to change the tool out. So we've got the tool in here and we just have a simple pin in here and we have this little donut. And all we have to do is pop this little rubber donut out with the screwdriver. Oops. And we pop it out. Inside there, we flip it around, there's a little hole. All we do is just push our screwdriver through here and we push the pin out through the other side. We don't have a pin installed in this one because it's, uh, I'll show you in here and we wouldn't be able to get it out. You have to actually have a little bit of weight off of this to be able to pop the pin out. But once we've done that, we we slide the unit up and away, drop the tool out, put a new tool in, and then just replace this donut into place. If you're interested in purchasing an Arrowhead Rock Drill Mini Skid Steer Concrete Breaker, SkidSteerSolutions.com has everything you need.